Mr. Lewison, uh, you can do both your cuts. <coughs> Sir, parting ways with someone you used to love or perhaps still love may not be an easy process. When a child is involved, it could get even harder. Going through a divorce is an emotionally draining period and our policies might make it more acrimonious, especially for the lower income. Couples know that if they get shared care and control of their child, they will have to fight each other for subsidised public housing. If one party gets sole, sole care and control, then he or she is guaranteed subsidised public housing. Is it in the best interest of the child for their parents to have a more acrimonious divorce? If shared care and control is a court judgement, Shouldn't our housing policies make it possible to enforce the judgment to protect the best interests of the child? Would the minister consider waiving the mutual consent requirement when shared care and control is awarded by the court, especially in cases where parties are only able to afford subsidised public housing? <coughs> Next cut. So single unwed parents under 35 years old need our help. Unlike those above 35 who qualify for subsidised public housing under the single scheme, those under 35 can only qualify on a case-by-case -case basis. With a median household income of only $600 in 2017, lacking the cash component of the baby bonus and often lacking family support, single unwed parents really need our help. I'm grateful that HDB has approved several housing appeals I have made for them. But, but this case-by-case -case approach adds unnecessary stress to an already stressed parent. A safe and stable home is a fundamental need for every child, and our housing policy should be child-centric. For a start, can Minister consider, provide, consider providing rental housing to single unwed parents under 35 years old with a monthly household income below a certain amount and who lack family support? Can we accept their application at the HDB counter like any other HDB flat application? Let's not tell the applicant that they do not technically qualify, that it is subject to a case-by-case -case review, and that they should see the MP to submit an appeal.